Hi everyone and welcome to Bloodborne, Blood Level 4 playthrough. This is Mikolash, the host of the Nightmare. So this is the crazy uh, Mikolash, a really endearing, should I say, endearing, strange boss fight. The, the strangest boss fight in this game, even though some creatures are like nightmarish creatures. This is a really strange and sometimes annoying boss fight because the guy won't just won't go into these fucking rooms. Now, in order for him to to prevent from doing a loop that is constantly going to keep you running and him not actually entering this room, you just have to make him uh, go right uh, like uh, on top of the entrance to this room and just go the other way, you know, opposite. To him and this room so he will enter it but that's the only thing that you have to do but sometimes uh, the AI behaves in a loop so he will go around the map like on the exits on the exit I'm sorry on the outside of the map and the room is kind of like on the middle so he he just won't go into the fucking room so uh, yeah almost dead there uh, he cannot, as you can see, he cannot actually kill me with that uh, magic that he does. That's actually a magic. And but the dolls that are in this room, the two dolls, can actually one-shot me. There is an attack that the dolls do that are like a long, uh, hard punch that can actually one-shot me. That's really weird that the boss itself cannot one-shot me now in this phase because once we get to the half of his health. Uh, he's going to move around again and we're going to have to face him in another room uh, eventually and in that room he can actually one shot me not with this uh, kind of tentacle attack that is called uh, a call beyond that's the name of the magic that you can actually use yourself if you build an arcane uh, build uh, Sorry for all the fucking redundancy. So, uh, yeah, when he goes to the second phase, you'll have to actually uh, get really close to him, I will say. See the doll? The fucking doll just almost killed me. So, yeah, the doll revives. Both of them revive. Uh, this is a problem for fl for uh, blood level four characters. This is not really a problem for you, but I, I I will I will give you the advice anyway for if you are kind of attempting to do something like this. In the second phase that we're gonna watch, that's a hard punch by the way. In the second phase that we're gonna watch in a few uh, minutes, I will say, uh, he's going to do another magic attack. That is like the summoning of the cosmos kind of like st a star oh, homing like the homing uh, soul mass of dark souls but kind of the bloodborne ver version I, I don't really remember the name of the magic what was the name of the magic or was that one a call beyond no excuse me that one is a call beyond yeah yeah that magic when it summons like a bunch of tiny stars and they kind of home in on you that's called a call beyond. Uh, that magic with the tentacle is something from Arietas, uh, which is another boss fight. But they actually created that magic from Arietas. It's kind of like something, a pr prayer or something like that. I don't, I don't remember actually. I actually I don't remember the tentacle magic now. Yeah, because it's called different. So whatever. You just have to follow around the path that I'm doing here. I wonder if anyone actually needs a playthrough for Blood Level 4, right? Because I said before that no one actually did this and I wasn't referring to a Blood Level 4 playthrough or bosses or walkthrough because that's all over the place. Everyone has done this already. Uh, I was referring to a, to a playthrough or a Blood Level 4 playthrough but with commentary. So, I, I, so it kind of explains what the fuck am I doing in the video. Because I have looked uh, after doing a lot of these bosses for uh, strategy videos, and they are all kind of without without commentary. And the thing is, you can make the the best kind of explanation in the description for what you are doing in the video and, and how you are managing the the distance, 
and baiting some attacks and what kind of uh, how are you moving in the map and stuff like that but some things you just can't explain by text some things that you have to feel when you're bat battling ag against that boss fight you have to explain by voice so I just haven't encountered a single fucking playthrough that is plot level 4 and that's kind of a shame and maybe there is and I just haven't found it there's not really that much, by the way. There's just two pages of Blood Devil 4's kind of videos. And I would say the best one that, ha that I've seen myself is uh, Dragon Souls. You should just look Dragon Souls and just put Bl Dragon Souls and put Bloodborne uh, level 4 or something like that and you're gonna find him. And he doesn't do commentary but he does a plus. Uh, he does the same that I'm doing on NG plus 6 which is like an HG plus 7 uh, in Dark Souls, the, the hardest difficulty. The bosses hit harder and have uh, a lot more HP and but at the same time uh, he has a better build character than mine here because he has 23% uh, or 27% gems on the weapon uh, so yeah he, he has pretty good gems so he actually doesn't do that much difference in damage to what I do uh, on these bosses, so the difference is not that incredible, but he has some different strategies from what I'm going to show you, and here I'm lucky enough to show you how you can enter this room without the need to loop him again, because he's going to close the gate after he enters this room, and you have to just go around and, and just drop into his room again, but I, I didn't need to do it because I kinda entered with him, so that's kinda fun and saves time. So this is the second phase that I was talking about. Now here I have to like uh, hit him a couple of times, move to the left or to the right so he can do that or the punching which is which if he does the, if he does the punching it's not gonna kill me but if I do uh, he can do a uh, call beyond and the thing is you cannot interrupt it. If he, do, if he does a call beyond which you're not gonna see it I think because he doesn't do it because I stay close to him. You have to stay close to him. If he does a call beyond, the only thing that you can do is try to dodge towards him. Never dodge to the sides, never dodge to the, to the back, and it's gonna go down. Never dodge to any, to any position but towards him, because a call beyond is uh, like 5 or 6 homing missiles and some of them are going to miss you, but uh, 3 or 4 are going to to directly hit you. If you move to the right or to the left, you're gonna get immediately one shot. If you move towards him, you have a chance to dodge it. It's it's uh, it's kind of like a, a really tight invisible frame dodge anyway. Uh, but the only way that I found to dodge it is to uh, lo target him. Don't roll. Target him and do a dodge towards him directly and keep hitting him. Uh, that's the only way that I found to dodge that attack. But on a, on an advice, uh, don't let him even do that attack. Do what I did here: stay close to him, uh, do three or four punches, move to the right or to the left so he can do a counter attack, and then resume the attack. And you're gonna be fine, I, I guess. So this was Mikolash, host of the Nightmare, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and take care.